Thank you so much for joining me on the AY Sugar Niger Lifestyle channel once again. My name is AY Sugar and I welcome you to another amazing time on AY Sugar Niger Lifestyle. Thank you so much for all those who have subscribed and we urge you to help share, comment and like uh, this particular video and also help us hit the notification button so that you'll always get the alert whenever we drop a video and of course whenever uh, you do that it really would encourage us to do more and do a whole lot of research and uh, of course get to inform us properly and apart from that please hit the thumbs up button it's kind of boost it it, it will kind of uh, you know boost my morale so to speak you know not to relent okay quickly we'll look at something different today something away from uh, you know maybe from the mechanic stand or from the AC stand or you know something that concerns our health and it's about personal hygiene wow have we really kept what we were taught back in school have we kept it a whole lot of us are guilty you know and we need to really talk about this particular thing that now matters a lot now you see a lot of people want to rush into a pharmaceutical office or a pharmacy you know to get um, a sanitizer to get a face mask to get anything to just protect their lives meanwhile just doing the necessary thing of course that concerns personal hygiene will just help us I will all be fine with the ravaging diseases that we're having in recent times we'll be talking about that just after the break stay with me don't go nowhere yeah 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 I'm back and this time with a towel now I want to start with that one I should talk about personal hygiene today a whole lot of us how often do we wash our towels we'll start with that before we talk about the normal things we should do you know, as it concerns personal hygiene, uh, which is washing our hands often, uh, you know, ensuring that we take our baths, have our teeth brushed. A lot of people, it will shock you, don't keep to this personal hygiene. They think it's doing too much, they think it's stressful, they think it's not necessary. We are Africans, you know, so to speak, and we don't need to bother. Well, let me go back to how I have this towel on my neck. Now, my recent research has shown that a whole lot of us keep and use our towels for maybe a week now um, scientists and a whole lot of people who you know have been curious even the whites so to speak those we call very clean and everything um, you know there was a scenario that was painted uh, in fact it really did happen uh, in the US where our towels were taken to the laboratory and after it was used for a week and after that lots of in fact millions of germs of bacteria of diseases especially when they are wet so if you actually have a towel you've used for the day in the morning and the next thing you keep it inside without go spreading it out in the sun and you come back it's still you know very dampy it's still very wet you still use it that means that you are still passing such the same thing you cleaned away from your body after washing off grows inside this particular towels and the next thing you use it again to clean your body and it was brought back millions millions i'm not saying thousands and i'm not exaggerating that's the truth now we should learn to use our towels at least for um three days after three days you change after three days you change and we wash also properly we soak it we ensure we clean it up very well and the next thing that means we need to get more towels and this also happens that um it affects those who uh, somehow are crazy about this thing called love because I love my wife, I can share the same towel, not right. Because it's also not good. Since you're actually going to be having such, you know, dep de deposited in the towel after use, it's good that you guys have two separate towels, one for her, one for you, and that keeps you more healthier and more clean, so to speak. So, learn that. That is one. Now, I'm done with towels. Two. It is all about brushing our teeth. I remember in the first episode of uh, AY Sugar Niger Lifestyle channel, we talked about mouth odor, we talked about how to clean up, you know, our mouth and everything. And a lot of people still don't. We don't know how to brush properly. We need to, you know, go to see a dentist. How many of us have taken out time to do that? You need to also learn to brush your teeth in the morning. And of course, when you want to sleep at night, it will help you. And of course, 
don't say okay what am i spending money what am i going to spend money on mouthwash and all that it helps keep keep your you know teeth very clean your mouth very clean and that is another thing with personal hygiene thirdly now let's quickly look at the matter at hand right now covid 19 is the latest outbreak everywhere in the world everybody is scared but what as you know how can we kill this COVID-19 so to speak how can we you know stop the spread it's just by normal personal hygiene you know in my language they will say uh, you only get to Sokoto but what you actually need to get is in your Sokoto so to speak that's in your Yoruba language so you don't need to you know go and you know do everything unimaginable things just to stop the spread of the disease or even to contain it you just need to actually maintain personal hygiene a lot of people are running to get masks here and there in fact i had a terrible news of a particular person who you know went to a particular pharmacy and bought all the face masks bought all the sanitizers and i'm wondering okay so you don't want that but all of us feel good that but that's just by the by the way just having to wash your hand every now and then make it a habit make your children learn it wherever they are every time i want to wash my hand it's not a bad thing. A lot of people even mock me. Oh, you wash your hand a lot. You do this a lot. I wash my hand at every point. Because sometimes you just wonder, you put your hand in your lips. You don't pass one, you know, germ or the other. I'm not trying to scare you, but that's just the reality. Then apart from that, like I said, wash your hand very well. You don't need to get so much money to go and, you know, a lot of people have doubled the price of sanitizers now just because they said, okay, we should use that to kill the germs and the spread. To, 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 to curb the spread of the of the uh, deadly coronavirus but that does not mean that if you have a hundred naira you cannot go buy a soap and every now and then have water around you you don't need to buy water is everywhere and wash your hand every now and then even in your car you can have soap in your car you can have a bottle of water and every now and then you can just you know wash your hand maybe after holding the steering after shaking in fact that that's another thing you shake a lot of people as guys Hey, what's up guy? How you doing? You know, by the time you move here and there, everywhere you actually have had so many hands that you have shaken. You know, so you need to always have your hands clean. Personal hygiene, you know, is very, very important, especially also as parents. We need to pass it to our children. It's not just about the COVID-19 because it's going to come, it's going to go. But how do we, you know, all those little, little sicknesses, illness, you know, bacteria for kids and all that. It's not caused by anything or attack from your family home. It is by you because you've not taught your children personal hygiene and how to be clean and how to ensure that they stay this way. Some people struggle to bath. I can't imagine it. I know you were saying mm, it's a lie. No, it's not a lie. Some people struggle to bath. I can bath as many times. I say, oh, you're a guy. Oh, you don't need to be. Who told you that? I want to be clean at every time. Some people wear their own days. They can wear it for days. What the heck? I can't believe that. How can you wear your own days for a whole week? One particular boxer as a guy or a bra. As a lady okay yeah you may not be changing changing but at least you know after use you put in the sun it kills whatever you can wear it back and all that at least then you you maintain that cleanliness it's next to godliness by the way but we must maintain that kind of attitude you know and it's something that is very cheap to do you don't need to kill yourself over over you know maintenance of personal hygiene i think also this also goes to artisans people that you know use their hands to work mechanics people in the hospitals people you know doing a whole lot of things with your hand and finger and your body you must always keep it clean after yes you've used you don't need to use an hand glove you know to solve a car problem or to lose this oil or get that spanner if yes you can use your hand at the end of the day you must wash it and you must maintain that you know hygiene uh, you know attitude personal hygiene attitude so that you always stay clean and when you also get back home before you go hug your children before you go carry that little baby you just had you must go in and use soap wash your hands properly it's not doing too much it's just being clean and it will help and aid your family you know away from the illnesses away from the viruses the diseases that are everywhere right now that we can't we don't know the name as we speak you know so these are things that we need to make 
part of us. Okay. Another thing I want to really look at and something that bothers me a lot, a lot of us use the convenience, the toilet, the restroom, whatever name we call it, we use it a lot and when we come out we just see only water we use and we're fine. No, no way, no way. You must always wash your hands properly after using the toilet because a whole lot of people come there it could be public, it could be private, but not just that you are the only one using. And even if you are, you don't know whatever you may have touched on the on the um, WC. You don't know what you have touched, you know, trying to wash your hand or trying to get the tissue or whatever you actually get into a toilet. It's a place where a lot of people come to ease themselves and everything. You must always wash your hand after using the toilet this like i said is common thing is a common thing that we should know and we should pass on to our kids they should know of course they learn a lot in school but we also have to practice it so that it will be part of us it will be a culture i think especially for us here back in africa we take all these things for granted and that is why sometimes we wonder what kind of you know some illness yes we we get over it and we we are fine but it is not just cool not to do certain things a lot to talk about but these are things that we need to look at and if we do it will really aid us well 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 i think it's a wrap stay safe please and maintain personal hygiene as we fight covid19 coronavirus and um, we just come together and not don't be selfish don't go out there and get all the face mask at the expense of others besides you don't need to wear a face mask if you're not infected it's only when you know you have a cough and it's consistent or you've been sneezing and it's consistent and you don't want you know to do that in the public and scare people you can wear a face mask simple logic simple information and of course sanitizer like i said it is just personal hygiene to stop and to curb the spread and of course like i said it's not just sanitizers you can use you know alcohol based highly based sanitizers alcohol highly based sanitizers which means alcohol could also curb the spread and kill the virus and also another thing is use soap wash your hands often 30 times 50 times i know the whole person for him. you understand a normal thing just make him part of you and i think that will be that will make us all fine and we don't need to you know cause a stir just because we're trying to come now everybody done the run even the the house of assembly or the house of rep are saying that oh let's shut down yeah i understand the place is a very busy place but that's not a good signal to me that's my own thinking but that's it um my package for particular uh this particular edition i'll be back some other time to talk about another very interesting thing that is part of us on ay sugar Ninja lifestyle have a great time don't forget to like comment and share and hit the notification button and of course the thumbs up it will really uh give a lot of boost to me have a great time and stay safe like i said bye bye